Hi, we're coming up on my favorite time of year when the weather turns chilly and I start working on softy blankets. It's a way to give people a hug that I care about, that I can't be with. Today we're going to make a very pretty little turtle softy. So join us. Hi, this is Tweek. We're coming up on the time of year when I love to make softies. These are fleece blankets that I punch holes around the circumference and I stitch in a border. It's so much fun to make because I see a pattern, it reminds me of somebody, and it's not just for babies. This one will be for my grandson, shh, don't tell him. But he likes airplanes and helicopters and everything that's on this blanket he thinks is really cool. So I made this for him. Now is the time of year to look for deals on fleece. I got some at 60% off. That's a pretty good value. And it's a lovely gift because every time they snuggle into their blanket, they're getting a hug from you. In this case, they're going to get a hug from me. So let me explain how we do this. The supplies you'll need for this project are very simple. You'll need some fleece. I use one yard of fabric for a child size blanket and two yards at least for an adult blanket. If the person's taller, you'd want to get a little more. And then, once you have your fabric, you'll need a puncher, a crochet hook, and a scissors. And that just about covers it. I've chosen my fabric. It's a turtle pattern. Oh, just I just love the colors. First thing I need to do is cut off and cut away the excess on the material that identifies where I purchased the fabric. So let's do that first. It's very simple. Take your scissors and cut along the line. And here we go. Done. Discard this edge piece. So I've cut away the excess fabric and now I can start punching. I've got a Fisker's puncher here. It's very well worn. As you can see, I've used it a lot. I really love this tool. It's got a little teeny little needle punch in it. Very tiny. And I put a mark on with a Sharpie to show me how far in on the edge of the fabric I want to punch to kind of give me a guideline. I also, as I punch along, use the edge. I line that up with the hole I just punched so I get an even punch going all the way down. And I'll give you an example. We'll take the edge here and I'm just going to punch. Line it up, punch. So you can see I'm punching in. There's the fabric line. And you don't have to be too fussy about this. Like I've said before, this is a handmade project. And if it's a little bit off, it just makes it look more handmade. I like that. So what we do is we punch around the whole edge of the whole blanket. Good exercise for your hand. So I'm going to continue until we're all the way done, all the way around. Coming close to the edge here, and I'm going to meet up where I started off. And let me show you. So if you ever lose your way on the stitching, if you just pull the fabric a little bit, you can see where the holes are. See where the holes are there? The holes. Okay, there they are. All right, next stop. We're done with our puncher. And our hands are in working order. Good exercise. So I'm going to come to one of the edges of the fabric and I'm going to pull in just a couple notches away from that edge because I want to put a corner in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yarn that I chose. I chose this really pretty minty green which I think brings out the colors. And I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm just going to come a couple holes back from the corner and just pull the yarn through. And then I'm going to make a very simple knot, double knot. There's one, there's two. That's the start right there. And I'm going to go around the whole blanket, the edge of it, with a double crochet stitch. Go through, I'm going to bring the yarn up, and I have a hook or a loop. And what I'm going to do is make one, two, 
three loops. That's the very first stitch in your blanket. I'm going to loop around the hook, come back through the next hole. See how easily, once you punch through the fleece, the holes are just real easy to get through right there. And I'm going to have three loops on that hook, and I'm going to pull through the first two, pull through the second two. There's your double crochet stitch, and you have one left on the hook. There's always going to be one left on until you loop it, go under the next. Now what we're doing here, now we've come to the corner of the fabric. There's my double crochet, but I want to fit six more or five more stitches into that corner that's going to actually form the corner with the double crochet stitches. So I'm going to go five more in that spot. And it all fits. The fleece is very accommodating. One, two, three. And what's happening here as I go, I'm hiding that little bit of a tail of yarn that was left over from the first knot that I made. So we got, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now every hole that you come to in the blanket will get one double crochet stitch, except for the corners, which will get six. And here's what happens. You end up getting a corner. They all fan out, and that looks really pretty on the blanket. So I'm gonna continue. We've got one loop, go around the hook, go into the next hole, bring the yarn back. Now you have three loops on that hook. You pull through the first two, pull through the next two, and you're started, ready to go again. So I'm gonna go around the whole blanket. Take some time, it's worth it. Very relaxing. Coming to the last few stitches. Okay, one more. I'm going to put a stitch right in the first stitch spot and then I'm going to hook this in to the top and I'm going to slip stitch, which means you come under just once. One little loop on your hook. You grab one little loop through and then I'm going to cut down to this color and put a very simple knot. Okay, with the hook for now. Here's what we have. Isn't that cute? I love the way the minty green pulls out the blues. And you could stop right there, but I like to add another line of stitching that reinforces the edge a little bit. So what I'm going for this time is this deep green. And you can see how it'll... You could pull any color you want out of the fabric, out of the pattern to highlight it, but I'm gonna go for the green which will let the yellows and oranges stand out and the lime green too. So what I do to get that going, I'm gonna come back about two spaces. I'm just gonna grab this pull it through and make a simple knot again. Double knot. One, two. A slip stitch is very, very simple. I'm just going to come under the stitch ahead of me. I'm just going to pull under, pull through the spot I just went into. stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide both of these two little end pieces, little tails, in the stitching as I go. I'll do a few and you can see. You don't have to worry about counting this time because each little, each little stitch, oh that's not helping much, each little stitch gets its own stitch through it. Stitch, pull through, come through, go into the next one, pull through, pull through the two. 
under the next one, through two. These tails end up just disappearing into the fabric, so let me do one more and I'll show you that. See, now this one here got lagged behind. That's it'll disappear into the fabric, and you won't even know it's there anymore. See, it's already gone. So we're gonna go around the length of the blanket and add in this pretty edge. Here we go. I'm almost to the end of adding the second color. And let me show you something that is beautiful, I think. But look at the difference when you add the second color, how it makes these patterns pop. I really like that. And we're almost done here. Coming to the end. The stitches are a little bit tight. Just wiggle the hook underneath there, then you can get in. Okay, now I'm going to go one more stitch. That meets up where we put the first knot. And now I'm going to put one more stitch to meet them up. Now I'm going to hook this loop into the loop next to it. I'm going to go one more. And then I'm going to put a knot. What we've done is we've met up on that corner. I've buried my scissors. Okay. And I'm going to put a very simple knot by just pulling this through. And now I'm going to come back through and hide some of this excess green. Just hide it in the stitches and it disappears. I cut it, close, and we're done. Now I zipped right through. It took me a couple of hours to complete this blanket. And if you'd like to see a slower version of how I did the stitches, you can click the link here. We're done. And there you have it. Our project is completed. It's lovely. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to the little person who receives this. I can't wait to see the look on their face when they get it. It's like sending somebody a snuggly hug and every time they use it, they're getting a hug from you. Isn't that just, oh, I love it. So if you like what you've seen here today, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and let me know. Did you send a hug to somebody you care about? I hope so, because it's a wonderful thing to do. See you again.